The film begins with a young man named Che Yun Song, who had a crush on his co-worker, Yun song -a. So Che Hyun was a few years younger than song -a, which made him hesitant to show his true feelings, fearing she might see him as just a kid. song -a, on the other hand, was a powerhouse at work, putting her job above all else. She didn't have time for distractions, especially when it came to romance. Her mind was always buzzing with work-related thoughts, and she didn't seem to notice the little things Che Hyun did to show his affection for her. Che Hyun tried to be as nice as possible to song -a, always looking out for her well-being. One day, they were both on their way back to the office, and their bus started to leave. At that time, he sprinted like the wind to stop the bus, not wanting song -a to be late. Despite his efforts, she seemed oblivious to his growing feelings for her. Back at the office, the atmosphere didn't help Che Hyun's case. Their co-workers often gossiped about the pitfalls of office romances, especially how they could negatively affect women's careers. Hearing these conversations only added to Che Hyun's fears, making him even more scared to confess his feelings to song -a. As time went by, Che Hyun's heart ached more and more. He wished he could be brave and tell song -a how he truly felt, but he also didn't want to risk her career, which she valued so much. Caught in this dilemma, he continued to admire song -a from a distance, his affection for her glowing quietly, like a little flame in the dark. Next, there is this guy named E.J. Seen, the boss of both Che Hyun and song -a at their workplace. J. Seen is a strict leader who always demands the best from his team, which is why their division is the top seller in the company. One day, Chet Hun and song -a were at a mall together, keeping an eye on the stock levels of the products from their department. While there, Che Hyun took the chance to ask song -a about her thoughts on co-workers dating secretly, a topic that had been a hot discussion at their office. To his surprise, Songa revealed that although she was focused on her career, she wouldn't mind dating someone from work if she really liked them. This gave Che Hyun a flicker of hope that maybe, just maybe, he might have a chance with her in the future. You see, Che Hyun's crush on Songa wasn't a recent development. In fact, it began way back when he was still a college student and she was a lecturer at his school. This long-standing affection worried his two older siblings, who feared he was closing himself off to potential relationships with other women. They even nudged him to find a girlfriend soon, hoping to see him happy and settled, perhaps even suggesting he make a move by his upcoming birthday. The next day, Chet Hyun made up his mind that he would finally tell Soma how he felt on his birthday. The big day rolled around, and amidst the birthday celebration with his co-workers, he planned to grab a quiet moment with Soma to spill his heart out. But just as he was gearing up to talk to her, Soma got a phone call and stepped away. Unable to hold back his eagerness, Chet Hyun followed her secretly, hoping to seize the moment. To his shock, he found Songa meeting with their boss, Jay Seen. It turned out they had been dating for a while, and everyone at the office was completely in the dark about it. This revelation threw Che Hyun into a whirlpool of confusion and sleepless nights. He started feeling really uncomfortable at work, especially noticing how Songa would always dress up nicely whenever Jay Seen asked to see her. Feeling lost and heartbroken, Che Hyun decided to visit his older sister, Ji Sung, who ran a wedding dress shop. He told her that he was giving up on his dream of being with song -a, as it seemed she was happy with Jay Seen. At that time, Ji Sung, who was well aware of how deeply her brother cared for song -a, offered her shoulder for him to lean on, encouraging him to find a way to move past his feelings. It was indeed a tough pill to swallow for Che Hyun, who had harbored such genuine affection for song -a for so long. But with his sister's support, he started to muster the strength to let go and hope for new beginnings, even though the road ahead seemed incredibly difficult. One day, as Che Hyun was heading home from his sister's place, he witnessed something that turned his stomach that Jae Seen was there, fitting a wedding dress with another woman. This sight ignited a fire in Che Hyun. He couldn't bear the thought of Song of being deceived by Jae Seen, the guy she was so smitten with. At that moment, he vowed to himself that he would fight for Song of's affection and protect her from Jae Seen's deceit. Back at work, Che Hyun's approach towards Song of, and Jay Seen shifted dramatically. Before, he would give them space to be together, but now he made sure to stay close to Song of all the time, aiming to shield her from Jay Seen's dishonesty. On the other hand, Jay Seen's mere presence began to infuriate Che Hyun, his face turning to a picture of anger whenever he encountered him. This change didn't go unnoticed by Song of, who couldn't quite understand why Che Hyun was suddenly so hostile towards Jay Seen. Even though Che Hyun was bursting with the urge to reveal Jay Seen's true colors, he held back, not wanting to see Song a hurt. He endured this painful silence for a whole month, 
trying to keep the bitter secret hidden to save Songa from heartbreak. But as time went by, he saw Songa falling deeper and deeper for Jay Seen, blindly believing all his lies. With heavy heart, realizing he couldn't stand by and watch any longer, Chi Han decided it was time to expose Jay Seen's deceit. He couldn't bear to see Sama entangled in Jay Seen's web of lies any longer. So during one of their secret meetings in the office, Chi Han stepped forward, ready to reveal the truth to Songa and save her from a relationship built on lies and deceit. So at that heated moment, Chi Han asked Songa to meet up with him after work, as he had something shocking to show her. Songa, who had always viewed Chi Han as a young lad, was taken aback by this sudden change in him cause he seemed so grown up all of a sudden. It left her feeling unsure and somewhat reluctant to agree to his request. Determined to get his point across, Chi Han stepped up, removing Songa's lipstick, and telling her that she shouldn't be using something given by someone as awful as Jay Seen. He urged her once more to meet him later. Hearing that, Songa was really thrown off by this side of Chi Han she hadn't seen before. At first, she stood her ground, unwilling to give in to his request. But curiosity got the better of her, and eventually, she found herself agreeing to see him, unable to ignore the fierce determination in his eyes. Later, Chi Han drove Songa to his sister's place. The old drive there, he couldn't hold back his disdain for Jay Seen, venting out his frustration and anger. This didn't sit well with Songa, cause she was upset with Chi Han for speaking so ill of her boyfriend. But Chi Han couldn't just stand by any more, watching Songa being taken advantage of by Jay Seen, someone he loved deeply. He told her he was sick of seeing her mistreated by him. However, this all seemed like jealousy to Songa. She thought maybe Chi Han had grown envious after realizing she was dating Jay Seen. Then, when they got to his sister's place, Chi Han let Songa know that he actually hailed from a wealthy family and didn't really need the job at the cosmetics company. This revelation just added to Songa's growing confusion regarding what Chi Han was trying to show her. Once inside a room Ji Song had set up, Chi Han apologized for dragging her into this. Soon after, Songa spotted Jay Steen helping another woman try on a wedding dress. Wanting to believe the best, Songman assumed the woman might be Jay Seen's relative or cousin. This optimistic viewer of Che Hyun, prompting him to spill everything he knew about the woman, whose name was Hyo Ju, a granddaughter of their company's owner. Despite laying it all out, Songma seemed to hold on to a sliver of hope that Jay Seen wouldn't hurt her like this, which only frustrated Che Hyun more. Then he told her that Jay Seen and Hyo Ju were planning to get married in a couple of months. This piece of news enraged Songma making her want to confront Jay Seen right there and then, but Shei Han stopped her, explaining that reacting impulsively wouldn't do her any good. Then tears filled Songa's eyes as a mix of anger and sadness took over. Feeling lost and betrayed, she turned to Shei Han, asking him what she should do now. At this, he found himself at a loss for words, unable to provide any guidance or solution to ease her heartbreak. All he could do was stand there, sharing in her pain and uncertainty about what the future held. Then, once Jay Seen and Hyo Ju left, Songa was heartbroken. She stormed out of the place, feeling utterly crushed. At that time, Cha Han, concerned for her, offered to drive her home. However, Songa, now upset with him as well, told him to stay out of her life. She said she could never have feelings for someone like him. Hearing this, Cha Han was left speechless, experiencing the sting of unrequited love once again. In another part of the story, it was revealed that Jay Seen didn't actually harbor any romantic feelings for Hyo Ju. But he found himself trapped in this relationship because she tended to behave impulsively, sometimes even dangerously whenever she felt neglected. Jay Seen felt he had no option but to go along with her wishes, particularly since her older brother, who was also Jay Seen's good friend, had asked him to look after her. On the other hand, despite Songa's harsh words and rejection, Shek Han couldn't help but worry about her. He hoped that she wouldn't be too affected by this whole mess. At that moment, Ji Sung felt a deeper sympathy for her brother, knowing well how genuine his feelings were for Songa, even though they seemed to be in vain. The following day, Che Han couldn't stop replaying Songa's hurtful words in his mind. Despite this, he was determined to bring back the joyful Songa he knew and cherished. But things had changed at the office. Songa was distant and didn't even acknowledge his presence. Even so, Che Han didn't give up on trying to lift her spirits, though all his attempts were met with rejection from her. At the same time, Jay Seen sensed that something was off with Songa. He called her into the meeting room to talk, oblivious to the fact that she had discovered his secret engagement to Hyo Ju. He tried to show her some affection, but Songa continually avoided and ignored him, 
which was unusual. This change didn't go unnoticed by Jay Seen, who wasn't used to discussing personal matters at work. Then he pressed Song up to talk about what was bothering her. She remained silent, instead suggesting that they talk after work. Later when they met, Song proposed that they should reveal their relationship to the entire office. This request took Jay Seen by surprise, and he asked for time to consider her suggestion, not ready to make such a decision on the spot. At the same time, Shehan was lost in thought, feeling powerless to alleviate Songma's distress. Despite his desire to help, it seemed that Songma wasn't even willing to speak with him anymore. Just as he was pondering how to assist her, she surprisingly appeared, asking for advice on how to cope with her heartache caused by Jay Steen. Caught off guard by her sudden appearance in question, Shihan suggested perhaps a way to ease her pain would be to start dating him instead. This suggestion didn't sit well with Songma, who felt that her visit was a waste of time if that was the kind of advice she was going to receive. But Shihan insisted that his idea wasn't a joke caused by being with him. It might make Jay Steen realize the mistake he was making. However, Songa, who hadn't completely given up on Jay Steen, swiftly left, declaring that she would find a solution on her own. As she grappled with her feelings and the complex situation, she couldn't come up with a solid plan of action. The next day at the office, Chikhan cautiously brought up his proposal from the previous night, but Sana chose to ignore him, swiftly exiting without a word. During a moment of reflection, Sana considered openly acknowledging her relationship with Jay Steen to everyone around her. She knew that this revelation might stir up some gossip and possibly even provoke Jae Yoon, the company director and Jay Steen's friend into taking action against Jay Seen for seemingly toying with his sister's emotions. However, something held Songa back. It seemed like no form of retaliation she could think of was quite enough to make Jay Seen truly understand the depth of his betrayal. Amidst all this, Songa found herself trying to steer clear of Chae Hyun. But fake had other plans as her boss instructed her to team up with Chae Hyun for a project at the cosmetics factory, alongside another co-worker. During this time, the atmosphere between Songa and Chae Hyun was noticeably strained. Songa did her best to keep her distance, raising their co-workers' suspicions that there might be some unresolved issues between them. Later that evening, as Songa was lost in thoughts, grappling with her disappointment in Jae Seen, she was suddenly interrupted by the unexpected arrival of Chae Hyun. At that time, Chae Hyun noticed that Songa seemed to be constantly racking her brain for a solution to her troubles. He couldn't hold back and suggested that maybe it was time for her to stop feeling down about her relationship with Jay Seen. He pointed out that if Jay Seen truly cared for her, he would be honest with her, especially with his wedding being just a couple of months away. Hearing this, Song A couldn't contain her emotions. She lashed out at Cha Hyun, telling him that it was none of his business to interfere in her relationship with Jay Seen. She stated that even if she ends up getting hurt, because she still harbored hope for Jay Seen, it had nothing to do with Che Hyun. She felt that he was just an outsider who could never truly understand the situation. Che Hyun, absorbing her anger, responded calmly. He shared that his feelings for her were genuine, but helping her wasn't solely motivated by his affection. He recounted his own past where he faced a similar betrayal, holding on to the vain hope that the woman he loved would come back to him, only to be left alone in the end. After pouring his heart out, Shehan started keeping his distance from Songa, avoiding her, and not engaging in conversation as they used to. That day, while driving back home, he remained silent even as they dropped off a colleague. Unlike before, he complied without a word when Songa asked to be dropped off at the station. This shift in Shehan's behavior unsettled Songa. She found herself distracted at work, unable to focus on her tasks and even forgetting to send a shipment of cosmetics to a mall, a critical part of her job. However, to her surprise, Che Hyun had already taken care of it, anticipating that she might overlook this responsibility. Songa couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude towards Che Hyun for stepping in. When she thanked him, Che Hyun casually mentioned that he was just returning the favor, recalling the times when she had helped him out with work issues in the past. Upon hearing Che Hyun's words, Songa started to feel a bit guilty. She realized she'd been quite harsh with him, despite all the good things he'd done for her. Wanting to make amends, she invited him to have dinner with her as a way to say thanks and apologize for her previous rude behavior. During their meal, they talked for a long time, and Songa opened up about her conflicting feelings. She was trying hard to figure out what she truly desired after feeling let down by Jay Seen. Despite everything, 
she still believed that Jay Seen was essentially a good person who wouldn't intentionally hurt her. But she was confused and unsure about how to deal with her complicated situation with him. Chen Han Changdin, sharing his perspective based on his own past experiences. He advised her not to cling to false hopes, like he once did, as it only led to deeper hurt. He gently suggested that perhaps she should consider giving him a chance, as a way to get back at Jay Steen. However, Song wasn't convinced. She told Che Hyun that they should drop the topic, as she didn't want to end up hurting him in the long run. She knew that using him for revenge against Jay Seen would be purely selfish, since she didn't harbor any romantic feelings for Cha Hyun. At that time, Che Hyun listened to her attentively, understanding her reluctance to take his advice. He didn't want to pressure her into doing something she wasn't comfortable with. But he also expressed a sincere desire to continue supporting and caring for her just like they've always been there for each other in the past. After their conversation, Che Han decided to leave. As soon as he was gone, Song Ha found the courage to take a decisive step. Without any second thoughts, she called up Jay Steen to put an end to their romantic relationship, expressing that she was done putting up with him, especially his plans to announce their relationship at work. Jay Steen sensed something was off and immediately came to see Song Ha, questioning her sudden decision to break things off. He suspected that she might be growing close to Che Hun, having noticed their recent closeness. Sama, however, avoided giving him a straight answer, insisting that it was clear their relationship was over, and tried to leave the spot. Jay Seen wasn't having any of it and grabbed Sama's hand forcefully, persistently asking her why she wanted to end things. Sama, now utterly frustrated, attempted to break free from his grip. Just then, Che Hun appeared on the scene, swiftly releasing Jay Seen's harsh grip on her. With a stern look, he faced Jay Seen, who was angrily telling him to stay out of their affairs. Ignoring Jay Seen's outburst, Che Hun extended his hand towards Song Ha, offering her his support and asking her to trust in him. Feeling uncertain, Song Ha seemed to be wrestling with the decision to trust Che Hyun. Eventually, she found the bravery to side with him. This gave Che Hyun the assurance to firmly tell Jay Seen to leave them alone. On the other hand, Jay Seen, showing no remorse for his actions, blamed Che Hyun for Song Ha's change of heart, accusing him of luring her away. However, hearing that only fueled Song Ma's disdain for Jay Seen, as he still couldn't recognize his own faults. Driven by this, Song Ha strongly declared to Jay Seen that their relationship was over, and she walked away hand in hand with Che Hyun. However, as soon as Jay Seen left, she released Che Hyun's hand and said sorry to him. She felt bad that Che Hyun had to get tangled up in her messy situation with Jay Seen. The next day, while Cha Hyun was at the office basement, he received a text from Song Ha, inviting him to the cafe across from their workplace. Once there, he greeted her with her preferred coffee and suggested she take a day off to recover from the drama of the previous night. However, Song Ha had a different plan in mind as she wanted to tackle her issue with Jay Seen head-on, and this involved Cha Hyun pretending to be her boyfriend. To Cha Hyun, this seemed like a silver lining as he got the chance to assist someone he looked up to even if it meant faking a relationship. Later in the elevator, Song Han asked him to keep their Fox relationship under wraps around her co-workers and to only play up their closeness when Jay Seen was around, a request he willingly agreed to, promising to shield his colleagues from any fallout. Things took a sudden turn when the elevator doors slid open to reveal an infuriated Jay Seen, who didn't take well to seeing Che Hyun and Song Han together. During a later meeting, Jay Seen, who was their boss, exploited his position to corner Che Hyun publicly, even attempting to paint him as a lazy employee. This infuriated Song Ha, who saw through Jay Seen's tactics as a personal vendetta, channeled through professional means. After the meeting wrapped up, Song Ha pulled Jay Seen aside and urged him not to let personal issues spill into their work life, pointing out how wrong it was. But her words only stirred up more anger in Jay Seen. He couldn't bear seeing Song Ha stand up for Che Hyun going as far as to declare that Che Hyun was far superior to him in every way. Unable to respond, Song Ha simply walked away, leaving a fuming Jay Seen behind. Later, as the workday came to a close, Jay Seen reached out to Song Ha, hoping to sit down and hash out their differences. However, she decided to use this opportunity to rile them up even more. She arranged for Che Hyun to join them, aiming to stoke the fires of Jay Seen's jealousy. Though the whole relationship with Che Hyun was just a facade to get back at Jay Seen, Che Hyun couldn't hide his genuine feelings for Song Ha and showered her with affection. This change in dynamics began altering Song Ha's perception of Che Hyun, 
slowly seeing him not as the young guy she once knew, but as a man who genuinely cared for her. At the same time, Jaystein was spotted hanging out with some co-workers and his buddy Jayoon. Usually a chill guy, Jaystein was now visibly irked, reeling from what he felt was rejection from Songa. His frustration was so intense that he nearly got into a fight with a man who got on his nerves. Later we get a glimpse into Jaystein's troubled childhood. Back in his school days he frequently faced scolding from adults who held him responsible for his dad's fraudulent activities. Even though he constantly faced blame for his father's actions, young Jaystein never talked back or defended himself. It was during this period that Jay Moon became fascinated by Jaystein's resilience, deciding to befriend him and help lift him up to his current position. This backstory also helps explain why Jaystein is willing to settle with Hyoju, despite having no romantic feelings for her. As the tale unfolds, we should focus to another blossoming romance involving Jae-yoon and Shae Han's older brother. Now in his more mature years, Jae-yoon finds himself experiencing the butterflies of love for the very first time, all thanks to a woman named Ji-soon, who has caught his eye. Returning to Shae Han's story, we see him growing closer and closer to Song-a, which seems to always keep a smile on his face. Their office mates couldn't help but notice Shae Han's upbeat mood, and started suspecting he might be harboring a crush on someone at work. This gossip stirred a bit of uneasiness in Songa, who was trying her best to keep their budding relationship under wraps, especially since it wasn't really real. Thankfully, he deflected the co-worker's curiosity by hinting that his affections were one-sided and he was too shy to reveal who the lucky lady was, which wasn't exactly a lie. Fast forward to the next morning, as Chehem and Songa were getting ready to scope out a venue for an upcoming company event. A sudden change in plans came through. Apparently, Jae Moon had emailed another co-worker, instructing Che Hyun to tidy up the cosmetic storage area instead. This unexpected task kept Che Hyun from joining Song on the site visit. Later, when Che Hyun was wrapping up his cleaning duties, Che Hyun showed up, looking pretty surprised. He was under the impression that Che Hyun was supposed to be with Song, checking out the event location. That's when they realized that the warehouse cleanup was just a ruse orchestrated by Jay Seen to get some alone time with Songa and have a personal chat with her. After realizing what was happening, Songa grew even more resentful towards Jay Seen, who seemed to be resorting to manipulative tactics just to sway things in his favor. He was desperately trying to win Songa back, even proposing marriage as a proof of his commitment. This left Songa somewhat torn, since a part of her still harbored feelings for him. However, she couldn't ignore the fact that he had hurt her deeply, especially with his plans to wed Hyoju looming on the horizon. When she confronted him about it, Jae Seen tried to brush off his engagement with Hyoju, insisting that it was Songa who truly held his heart. This declaration only fueled her anger, prompting her to slap Jae Seen for his blatant selfishness and lack of regard for her feelings. Despite being caught red-handed, Jae Seen remained stubborn, insisting on sticking by Songa and even going to the extent of forcing her to stay with him. This tension escalated quickly, culminating in a physical altercation when Chehan stepped in to rescue Songa, and was met with aggression from Jae Seen. In the aftermath of the scuffle, a bruised and battered Chehan tried to soothe the visibly shaken Songa. This marked a shift in her attitude towards him where she had previously accused him of meddling in her relationship with Jae Seen. She now found herself expressing gratitude and apologizing to him for the turmoil. Songa realized that if Cha Han hadn't brought Jae Seen's actions to light, she might have still been stuck hoping for a future with Jae Seen, possibly accepting to his pleas to stay with him due to her lingering feelings for him. She felt sorry that she couldn't return Jae Han's affection. In response to this, Jae Han brushed off her apology, telling Songa there was no need to feel embarrassed or to apologize. He assured her that he had moved past his feelings for her. But this was far from the truth cause and reality. He was more worried about Songa's well-being than his own unresolved feelings. After this, Songa began the process of distancing herself from Jae Seen, discarding the gifts he had given her, especially now that he was busy planning his wedding with Hyoju. The problem that once existed between Songa and Che Han seemed to have cooled down, as Songa felt there was no further reason to maintain the facade. This change was hard on Che Hyun, who had genuinely enjoyed being close to Songa, even in the pretense of being her fake boyfriend. He found himself searching for excuses to see her again. Although Sama consistently turned down his invitations, Shehan happened to spot her one day, heading to a fun place with a friend to unwind and take her mind off things. At that time, Shehan felt a surge of happiness 
and couldn't help but follow Sama discreetly. They ended up sharing a spontaneous sweet moment together, but it left Sama feeling a bit uneasy, and she hurriedly left. She couldn't quite place the uneasy feeling that cropped up whenever Che Hyun showed her attention. It might be budding love or something else. Regardless, it seemed like Che Hyun was gradually getting more chances to be close to her, even though Songa was consciously trying to keep her distance. Despite Songa's attempts to avoid him, her friend unknowingly played Cupid by inviting Che Hyun to join them for some drinks. Seizing the chance, he used the time to get to know Songa better. Slowly but surely, Songa was getting used to having him around, sometimes even welcoming his presence. This shift didn't escape notice cause Che Hyun's perpetual happiness led Songa's older siblings to suspect he might be seeing someone. At work, Che Han's glowing happiness was evident, a direct result of being able to spend time near Songa. This joyous state was briefly interrupted one day, as they were about to step into the elevator and found Jae Seen and Jae Eun already inside. Soon after, Jae Eun invited Songa to join them for lunch, an invitation that also included Jae Seen. Even though Songa preferred to stay away from Jae Seen, she knew she couldn't avoid him entirely, especially when it came to professional matters. At lunch, Jae Eun shared his intentions of offering Songa a big opportunity due to her hard work at the company, handing over the reins of his Paris-based business to her. But shortly after dropping this bombshell, he rushed off, hinting at other pressing issues to attend to. Even though this should have been great news, it only made Songa despise Jae Seen more. She realized that if she hadn't discovered Jae Seen's betrayal, he would have continued their relationship, perhaps even sending her to Paris, just as Jae Eun had intended. Amidst the whirlpool of emotions she was experiencing, Songa found some solace when she bumped into Che Hyun, who offered her comfort. Meanwhile, the real reason behind Jae Eun's hasty exit came to light. He was in a rush to meet Ji Sung, who had just arrived at his mall. Overwhelmed by an instant attraction, Jae Eun didn't waste any time and asked Ji Sung to spend more time with him, eager to explore the spark he felt. Ji Sung, who was being nudged constantly by her sister to settle down, found Jae Yoon's proposition welcoming and agreed to give it a shot, to get to know him better. What adds a twist to the tale is that Jae Yoon is completely unaware that Ji Sung is none other than Che Han's elder sibling. In recent days, the bond between Che Han and Songa couldn't remain as strong as before. This was mainly because of Jae Seen's relentless efforts to be with Songa. In a sudden twist, Jae Seen revealed that Songa wouldn't mentor Che Hyun at work anymore as she had been assigned a different role. This didn't sit well with Songa. At that time, she suspected that jealousy fueled Jae Seen's decision. But even though she disagreed, she had to follow the orders. She tried to see it as a potentially good move for Che Hyun's growth at the company. But old habits die hard. Accustomed to answering Che Hyun's work-related questions, Songa instinctively responded when he asked a question even though he was now mentored by someone else. This unexpected reaction caught their co-workers off guard. Che Han also had to adapt to guidance from someone who wasn't Songa, stepping into an unfamiliar work environment which felt quite different. Despite seeing Che Han so occupied, Songa couldn't shake off her concern for him. But to keep her at ease, Che Han kept in touch, sending messages to assure her he was managing just fine, easing her worries bit by bit. When it was time to head home, Songa became anxious as Che Han hadn't shown up to leave with her as usual. Then she tried reaching out to him, but got no response. Unbeknownst to her, Che Han was unwinding with some drinks provided by the marketing team. He needed this because he felt torn. Earlier, Jae Seen had approached him, urging him to convince Songa to move to Paris, a step towards fulfilling her dream. But this left Che Hyun in a dilemma. While he wished to keep their close connection, he also wanted to see her thriving and achieving her dreams in Paris. Later, a heavily intoxicated Che Han stumbled upon Songa on his way home. Unable to contain his affection, he affectionately nestled his face on her shoulder, a sweet gesture that was characteristic of him. The next morning, the memory of his drunken antics made him cringe. He recalled how he had behaved rather childishly, showering Songa with compliments on her beauty, and couldn't help but feel embarrassed about the whole situation. At that time, Che Hyun felt quite sheepish about his behavior the previous night and decided to apologize to Songa. Much to his surprise, Songa, who had been growing more fond of him recently, was not bothered by the incident. Instead, she encouraged him to stop drinking with his colleagues just to fit in, emphasizing that his skills at work spoke volumes. Che Hyun was overjoyed to realize that Songa had always been noticing him, 
even if it was just in a professional capacity. Later that day, a new cosmetic product launch kept Song about the office longer than usual. Sensing that she might be working late, Che Han thoughtfully returned to the office with some food and drinks for her, a gesture that brightened her evening and brought a smile to her face. After Cha Han left, Song's evening took a different turn when she was visited by Jay Seen at the office. He opened up to her about his reasons for agreeing to marry Hyoju. It turned out it was Jae Yoon who had pushed for this marriage, as Hyoju was adamant about marrying Jay Seen and wasn't shy about pulling strings to get what she wanted. Given that Jae Yoon's family had supported him throughout his education and helped shape his current life, Jay Seen felt that he couldn't reject this marriage proposal, even if his heart wasn't fully in it. So Jay Seen told Song that she should seriously consider Jae Yoon's offer to move to Paris, emphasizing that it wasn't about him but about her own dreams. At that moment, the conversation made Song realize the immense pressure Jay Seen was under. She started to think maybe going to Paris wasn't such a bad idea, especially since it was something she had always dreamt of. The following day was a whirlwind. Just before the launch of a new cosmetic product, they received news that the model scheduled for the event had canceled last minute. This left Jay Seen and Songa scrambling to find a replacement. With time running out, one of Songa's co-workers suggested Che Hyun as a stand-in. Initially, Che Hyun was reluctant, feeling he wasn't cut out to be a model. But seeing Songa under so much stress, he decided to step up to help her out. Then, with a quick makeover, Che Hyun, who was already a good-looking guy, transformed into an even more striking figure, especially since it was Songa who was helping him get ready. His sudden switch to being a model surprised everyone at the event, leaving them quite impressed with his good looks and natural charm. Surprisingly, Songa found herself in a tough spot once again. Then, Hyoju showed up all of a sudden, having seen Jay Seen getting close to Songa. At that moment, Hyoju didn't create a scene because she wasn't quite sure about what was going on between Songa and Jay Seen. Despite this, her presence was enough to stress Songa out since she knew Hyoju had a big crush on Jay Seen. To escape the tension for a bit, Songa visited her mother's home. It was the anniversary of her father's death, a day they usually commemorate. But the atmosphere at home was far from peaceful. Songa and her mom had been on bad terms for a while, a strain that began years ago when Songa caught her father cheating with a friend from her school. Back then, her mom had dismissed her claims, creating a lasting rift between them. So we swing back to Shin's tale at the office, where Jae Seen gets a heads up that Jae Yoon's granddad who is also the big boss, is stopping by their shopping center. Knowing the man's harsh nature, Jae Seen asks Songa to get ready to greet the uncompromising fellow. His ruthless nature was on full display when he calmly confronted two teenagers accused of shoplifting at his mall, pressuring them to rat out the guilty one. But things took a nasty turn when, after one of the teens singled out his buddy, the granddad went back on his word, leaving Songa witnessing the whole scene shaken. It dawned on her that Jay Seen was mingling with a truly nasty character. Meanwhile, back at the office, there was a fresh batch of troubles waiting for Songa and Jay Seen when they got there. The new product that was set to launch soon had been labeled incorrectly, and they had to fix it before tomorrow. Che Hyun, realizing he messed up, rounded up a couple of colleagues to hustle to the factory and change the labels one by one. Despite the helping hands, the task was too big, and it wasn't finished by evening which is when Songa caught wind of it. At that time, Songa felt really bad that Cheng Hyun was slaving away at the factory on his own. During this time, he was over the moon when Songa gave him a ring to thank him and to say she wasn't moving to Paris. This bit of news lit up Cheng Hyun's day, because it meant that the girl he had a crush on wasn't leaving. But surprise, surprise, Songa was actually at the factory too, secretly lending a hand, which left Cheng Hyun a bit red-faced when he saw her. They decided to speed things up together as it was getting late. And then, as exhaustion set in, Songa dozed off, resting her head on Che Hyun's shoulder. This simple act warmed his heart and brought a big, silly smile to his face. After Songa woke up feeling refreshed, Che Hyun quickly stepped outside to grab a blanket for her, despite the pouring rain, which really touched her. Then, amidst all this warmth and care, Songa couldn't help but ask why Che Hyun was so into her. Without a second thought, Che Hyun confessed that he's had a soft spot for her since their college days. Bumping into her again at the company only reignited the flame, especially seeing how great of a person she had turned out to be which was so kind and dedicated to her job. Listening to Che Hyun speak so candidly, tears welled up in Song's eyes. She confessed that she might not be the angel he thinks she is, 
Maybe she's even a bit of a mess. And that's why she couldn't let him harbor these intense feelings for her. She feared it might only end in heartbreak for him. But Chai Han, even faced with this setback, didn't back down. He vowed to be patient, to stick around till the day Songa felt ready to embrace his genuine affection for her. In another place, Jay Seen is feeling really sad, because he can't be with Song Um anymore. Then, he notices Hyo Ju is at his home, organizing his clothes, maybe to throw them away. At that time, Jay Seen wants to yell at her at first, but he ends up kissing her instead. The next day, Jay Seen, who's the boss of the department, praises Che Hyun and Song Um for their hard work on updating the labels on the new beauty product. Jay Seen is especially thankful to Che Hyun for coming up with the idea. So he decides to let Che Han join a company contest for creating a new product idea, a contest that Song usually wins every year. Hearing this, Che Han gets a bit nervous, since he doesn't think he's as good as Song in this kind of stuff. But he doesn't want to let down Song who has been helping him a lot. So he tries his best to win the company contest. He even gets help from a couple of friends to come up with some fresh product ideas. The problem is, all the ideas he thinks of are things that Song has already done before. This makes him feel frustrated because he can't come up with anything new on his own. At that time, Songa really wants to help Che Hyun out, but she stops herself from giving him advice every time. She's worried that if she helps, their co-workers might start thinking that there's something more going on between them. At the same time, another romance is blossoming between Jae Yoon and Ji Song. Jae Yoon, who has a lot of pull, often goes to the mall hoping to bump into Ji Song. On the other hand, Ji Song can't seem to get Jae Yoon off her mind always chuckling about the funny things he does to catch her attention. On another note, Che Han decided to spend his day off at the mall too, scouting some beauty products for inspiration for his company's new project. There, he stumbled upon Songa, who was hanging out with a friend. The encounter was pretty awkward, and Songa's friend could totally sense something was going on between them. So she cleverly invited Che Hyun to join them for a meal and scooted off as soon as the food came, giving the two some privacy. But a long time only made things more awkward between Songa and Che Hyun. Songa couldn't figure out why she felt so uneasy around Che Hyun. While they were walking, Songa noticed a colleague from work heading their way. Panicking about potential office gossip, she quickly grabbed Che Hyun's hand and urged him to run away with her. This sudden sprint seemed to break the ice, the awkwardness melting away. Their faces lit up with big, genuine smiles, hinting at the beginning of a sweet and special connection between them for the days to come. Later, as it got dark, Che Hyun walked Song A home. During the walk, she took a moment to thank him. She felt less hurt by Jay Seen's betrayal because of him. She also said sorry for the mean things she said earlier that she didn't really mean. Che Hyun listened and then admitted that he felt a bit bad. At first, he wanted to use the fight between Song A and Jay Seen as a chance to win over her affection. But now, hearing her turn him down again, he didn't want to do that anymore. Instead, he wanted to show her through genuine efforts, that his feelings for her were real. As a start, he asked Songa not to avoid him like she did before. Hearing this, Songa didn't say anything. Deep down, she felt that Che Hyun truly cared for her. Meanwhile, Jae Seen has decided to marry Hyo Ju and is trying hard to get to know her better by spending more time with her. But life's throwing another curveball at him. His biological dad, who never really cared about him before, is suddenly reaching out, asking for money. At the same time, Jae Yoon has been patiently waiting for days at the mall, hoping to see Ji Song, the girl he's got a big crush on again. Finally, his patience pays off when Ji Song, who seems to like him back, shows up. Being quite wealthy, Jae Yoon doesn't hesitate to ask her out for a fancy dinner. Back at the office, there's a noticeable change in Song -a. These days, she seems to be putting in more effort to look nice and approachable, a stark contrast to her old self. It almost feels like she's trying to catch Che Hyun's eye more than before. In another scene, we see Jay Steen constantly receiving calls from his dad, which has really started to annoy him. Finally, he goes to meet his dad in person and bluntly offers him money to leave him alone for good. Instead of being ashamed, his dad seems thrilled and quickly states his price. Jay Steen, just wanting to be free from his dad's hassles, transfers the money right away and leaves without looking back. Feeling all mixed up inside, he decides to visit Songa. But when he gets there, he realizes she's moved on cause she looks genuinely happy always smiling at messages from Cha Hyun. The following day at work, Jae Seen seems ready to let Songa go entirely. They talk about how she doesn't want to move to Paris, and he tells her to hang in there, 
because they will find someone to replace her soon. He also tells her that from now on, their relationship will be strictly professional, no personal entanglements. But just as they're talking, the elevator door slides open to reveal Hyoju inside. Seeing Jay seen with Songa, her mind jumps to negative conclusions immediately. Hyoju, who is quite possessive when it comes to Jay seen, was really mad and started glaring at River. Just as she was about to lash out, Che Han stepped in, taking Songa by the hand and leading her away. This move cooled Hyoju's jets a bit, making her think that Songa was actually Che Han's girlfriend, which eased her jealousy. At that time, Songa was really thankful to Che Hyun for saving her from an awkward confrontation with Hyoju. However, their little hand holding rescue didn't go unnoticed, cause a co worker saw it all. Caught off guard, they tried to convince the co worker to keep it hush hush, even offering a bribe to ensure their secret would be safe. Meanwhile, we catch up with Jae Yoon and Ji Sung, who seem to be growing closer day by day. Their relationship seems way more relaxed compared to the roller coaster that is Che Hyun and Songa's romance. In fact, Jae Yoon and Ji Sung are clearly sailing smooth waters now, even holding hands, a sure sign that they're officially a couple. Next, the scene changes to Songa's mom, who is at the hospital. She's just found out she has cancer. Even with this sad news, she chooses not to tell Songa about it, mostly because they aren't on the best terms right now. Switching back to Che Hyun and Songa, things are getting interesting between them. But out of the blue, a pretty lady comes up to Che Hyun. It seems like she might have hurt him in some way before, because he clearly doesn't want to talk to her. At that time, Songa notices that Cha Ham looks pretty uncomfortable around this lady, but she doesn't bring it up. Instead, she tries to lighten the mood by reminiscing about their university days over some drinks. Cha Hyun, who gets tipsy pretty fast, ends up resting his head on Songa's shoulder. Meanwhile, there's some drama brewing at Hyoju's workplace. In that moment, Jae Seen's dad shows up the same guy who just took a bunch of money from Jay Seen on the promise that he'd stay away for good. But here he is, shamelessly asking Hyoju for some cash. Luckily, she is well aware of Jay Seen's dad fondness for gambling and his greedy ways. Then, like Jay Seen did before, Hyoju agrees to give him some money, but with some strict rules and even throws in a warning. And without a second thought, Jay Seen's dad accepts her terms. In the evening, as Che Han was heading home from work with Songa, they bumped into the same beautiful woman from before. She seemed predetermined to have a chat with Che Hyun, although he really didn't want to have anything to do with her. She insisted she'd keep coming back until Che Hyun spoke with her. Feeling cornered, he decided to sort things out with her then and there. As it turns out, this woman was actually Che Hyun's ex-girlfriend, and she was the same one he had mentioned to Songa. She was trying to rekindle their relationship, admitting she made a mistake with her current partner. But Che Hyun was having none of it. He had moved on and had no more feelings for her, especially considering how she had betrayed him in the past by cheating. Meanwhile, at home, Soma couldn't stop thinking about Che Hyun, who was at that moment speaking with that woman. She found herself feeling a bit jealous and decided not to invite him over for dinner. But when she learned that Che Hyun turned the woman away, she couldn't help but smile, realizing she had developed feelings for him. However, things were not the same for Che Hyun. He felt that his growing affection for Songa was becoming too much and chose to step back to protect his heart. He told her that he was going to keep his distance, starting the next day to heal his heart, leaving Songa feeling quite down and unable to respond. When she got home, her mind kept going back to their conversation, leaving her feeling confused and unable to concentrate. At the office, Songa noticed that Che Hyun was indeed avoiding her, not showing the warm gestures he used to. He'd even withheld the news of his advancement to the final round of the company's product idea competition sharing it with other colleagues first instead of her. This left Songa with a sinking feeling, as if she had lost something precious. Her heart felt heavy, especially when everyone gathered to celebrate Che Hyun's success, and this sense of loss lingered for several days. During a project together at work, the continued cold treatment from Che Hyun became too much for Songa to bear. She finally approached him, pouring her heart out about how she couldn't bear the growing gap between them. Sama admitted that she was missing the kindness and warmth Che Hyun once showered her with. Unable to hold back, she urged him to return to his old caring self, as she sorely missed those tender gestures. Che Hyun, caught off guard by her heartfelt confession, remained silent. However, by the time they reached home, Songa reiterated her request, asking for some time to truly understand her feelings towards Che Hyun, whether it was love or simply fondness. When hearing about this, a wave of happiness washed over Che Hyun 
Once home, he couldn't help but break into a big smile. It seemed that the door to Songma's heart was finally ajar, giving him hope that she might reciprocate his feelings after all. Meanwhile, back at her place, Songma found herself being scolded by her friend. Her friend couldn't believe that she was nearly letting a great guy like Che Han slip through her fingers. So, all her friends chimed in, urging Songa to step up her game and cast aside her hesitations if she didn't want to lose Che Hyun. Then, things started to change at the office. Songa, who generally kept to herself, began taking an interest in Che Hyun. She started with small gestures, like making him his favorite coffee, and offering words of encouragement as he prepared for a presentation at the company's new product competition. These gestures of support seemed to fuel his enthusiasm and determination to win. And it seemed to be working. Che Han's presentation in front of the company bigwigs was a hit. His ideas and concepts were well received, and it looked like everyone was impressed by his innovative proposal. Soon after, the whole office was buzzing with the good news that Che Han had won the competition. Songa, upon hearing the news, was eager to congratulate him right away. But given that they were still in the office, she opted for a subtle signal to acknowledge Che Han's victory. Not letting the formal office environment dampen her excitement for his success. After getting back home, it seemed like things were going back to how they were before between Che Hun and Songa. This time around, he playfully nudged Songa to pat his hair in celebration of his recent victory, a request she gladly fulfilled, showing a newfound attentiveness. But soon, Songa noticed that all the stress and hard work from the competition had taken a toll on Che Hun, leaving him with a fever. Without hesitation, she decided to take him to her place to rest. After they parted ways, a sense of worry engulfed her. Wanting to make sure he was okay, she headed to a pharmacy to pick up some medicine for him. Returning to Che Han's place, a surge of anxiety hit her when there was no response to the doorbell. She remembered the house passcode from a past visit, when she had helped a drunken Che Hun home. Entering the house, she found him fast asleep, his body radiating heat from the fever. Filled with concern, Sama couldn't just stand by and watch him suffer. She started tending to him, cooling him down with a wet cloth and murmuring about how much she cared for him in his ill state. Thanks to her tender care, it wasn't long before Che Han's fever started to subside, bringing Song a sense of relief and a stronger connection between them. The next day, Che Han woke up to find Song a dozing off in a chair nearby. He couldn't help but feel a surge of happiness at the sight. Gently, he draped a blanket over her, which stirred her from her nap. Without a second thought, she reached out to feel his forehead checking if his fever had subsided. Seeing her concern, Che Han seized the moment to voice his deep affection for her once again. He assured her that if she reciprocated his feelings, he would show her just how beautiful love can be. But Sama hesitated, not giving a reply right away. Instead, she went to fetch the medicine, her face glowing a bright shade of red. Her shy demeanor brought a smile to Che Han's face, lighting up the room with a glimpse of their blossoming romance. Meanwhile, in contrast to the budding relationship between Che Hyun and Songa, Jae Seen found himself in a tough spot again. His father had shown up at his workplace, causing a scene and embarrassing him in front of his colleagues. At that time, Jae Seen was at his wit's end with his father's antics, especially after financially assisting him on two separate occasions. With a stern face, he reminded his father of the promise to stay out of each other's lives. Surprisingly, his father's visit wasn't for more money this time. He had come to inform Jay Seen that he had located his mother, and promised to uphold his end of the bargain now, since he had accepted money from Hyoju. After his conversation with Jay Seen, the father, who was drowning in debt, found himself being pursued by two men seeking to collect what he owed. Despite having some money, his greed got the better of him, and he chose to run away instead of settling his debts with the men who were chasing him. At the same time, Songa was at her workplace when she got a distressing call from her mom. Her mom told her that she was in the hospital because she had cancer. This news shook Songa deeply. Even though she and her mom weren't on the best of terms, she was still her daughter and couldn't ignore her mom's health crisis. She quickly got in touch with the doctor caring for her mom and found out that, thankfully, her mom's condition hadn't progressed to cancer yet and it was possible to treat it with surgery. However, her mom was reluctant to undergo the operation, instead wanting to draw Songa's attention and sympathy. This stance was hard for Songa to understand, given the rocky past where her mom had failed to believe Songa when she reported seeing her late father being unfaithful with a friend from school. Unfortunately, the strain in their relationship seemed to intensify, with Songa insisting that her mom should have the surgery and move out of her home. 
This disagreement only put more distance between them, and arguments became a common occurrence, making their bond even more fragile. At that time, Songa was really upset with her mom for being so stubborn. She couldn't take it anymore, so she left her home, asking a friend to look after her mom for a while. Before she knew it, her feet were leading her to Chehan's place. Chehan was surprised to see her turn up all of a sudden and try to find out what was troubling her. But Sama just said she came by because she wanted him to go buy some ice cream with her. However, Chehan, who has a knack for reading people, could sense that something was off. Without a word, he wrapped Songa in a gentle hug. Feeling his warmth and concern, she couldn't hold back her tears any longer and began to cry on his shoulder. When her tears finally subsided, she realized that she had genuine feelings for the man standing before her. Gathering her courage, Songa openly shared her feelings with Che Hyun. Understanding that she was having issues with her mom, Che Hyun made her some comforting warm tea. Then he held her hand softly, offering her a moment of peace and consolation amidst her turmoil. Meanwhile, in another part of town, Jae Hoon was having a heart-to-heart -heart chat with his younger brother, Jae Seen. They were discussing Hyo Ju, the lovely woman Jae Seen was about to marry. Jae Hoon, who knew his brother inside and out, suggested that Jae Seen should shower Hyo Ju with more love and attention, especially to win over the affection of their grandpa, who was quite fond of her, even more than Jae Seen himself. At that time, Jae Seen nodded, taking his brother's advice to heart promising to put in the effort to make Hyo Ju feel more cherished. Then, switching roles from a caring brother to a teasing friend, Jae Seen nudged Jae Hoon, encouraging him to settle down with someone wonderful, just like he was doing. This brought a big smile to Jae Hoon's face as he thought of Ji Song, his girlfriend with whom things were getting pretty serious. However, their pleasant conversation was cut short though when Jae Seen's phone rang with an urgent call. It was the police, bearing grim news that their father was in critical condition in the hospital, and J.C. needed to rush over there right away. At the hospital, J.C. was frantic, not knowing the full story of why his dad was there. The police filled him in, telling him that his dad was involved in a car accident while being pursued by people demanding repayment of debts he owed. Soon after, J.C. faced the painful reality. His father had passed away. This hit J.C. like a ton of bricks. Even though his dad had a lot of faults, the sense of loss and guilt consumed him. Shortly after, Jae Noon and Hyo Ju arrived to offer their support. Hyo Ju, noticing Jae Seen's deep sorrow, tried to help by suggesting that they could all work together to organize a proper funeral for his dad. But Jae Seen was in no mood for help or sympathy. He brushed off Hyo Ju's kind offer coldly, implying that his busy-to-be wife didn't need to bother with a man who hadn't been the best father. This left Hyo Ju silent her heart aching as she sensed that Jay Steen was struggling to truly accept her as family, especially in this moment of grief. In the middle of all this, Jay Steen was crumbling inside, despite putting on a brave face initially. His last encounter with his dad had been full of harsh words, and the memory of it was tearing him up. Just then, Songa showed up. Jay Steen's reaction to her was totally different than it had been with Hyoju. It was like he had been waiting for Songa to arrive, someone he could truly lean on in this tough moment. Breaking away from his usual aloof demeanor, Jay Steen couldn't help but spill all his guilt and sadness over his father's death to her. The next day, things were tense at the office. People noticed Songo was missing and began asking around. That's when Shikhan, unaware of the gossip brewing, innocently mentioned that Songo had taken a day off to be with her mom during a surgery. This caught everyone off guard, and they all turned their eyes towards him, puzzled about how he knew about Songo's personal matters. Feeling this sudden scrutiny, Chihan grew anxious, worried that his secret romance with Songo would be uncovered. Just then, his phone rang, providing a perfect chance to steer the conversation away and relieve himself from the unexpected attention, at least for a little while. During a break at work, Chihan couldn't contain his affection for Songo. When she called him, he hurried away from his friends to chat with her in private, immediately telling her how much he missed her, even though they had just seen each other the day before. Songo couldn't help but smile feeling warmed by Che Hyun's evident love for her. At the same time, another love story was unfolding between Jae Yoon and Ji Sung. Before they could think about getting married, Jae Yoon needed to win over Ji Sung's niece, who was quite important to her. Ready to give it his all, Jae Yoon threw himself into the challenge of winning the little girl's heart. It wasn't easy at first, as she seemed resistant to accept him. But with Jae Yoon's patient and loving approach, she eventually warmed up to the idea of him becoming a permanent part of their family. In another part of town, 
Soma stumbled upon a family secret while helping her mother get ready for a hospital visit. She found a hidden letter revealing that her mother knew about her late father's affair with a classmate. Her mom had kept this painful secret all these years, fearing it would hurt Songa. This revelation created a rift between them, as it shook the foundation of trust and understanding that had been there before. It seemed the relationship between them was now more strained than ever. Meanwhile, at the office, as soon as the clock signaled the end of the workday, Che Hyun was quick to head home. He was eager to see Songa. When in it up, he showered her with attention, constantly cracking jokes to lift her spirits. Later, they decided to visit Songa's mom at the hospital. The moment they met, her mom could instantly tell that Che Hyun was Songa's boyfriend. But for some reason, Songa chose not to confirm their relationship to her mother just yet. Later that night, as Songa was getting ready for bed, her mom brought up past events involving her dad. Songa, not wanting to delve into that painful part of their history, urged her mom to let the past be in focus on starting fresh. But her mom confessed that she had been carrying a burden of guilt for not being honest with Songa about many things, including the gravity of her illness. Hearing this, Songa responded with a heartfelt request that if her mom truly felt guilty, it was time to let go of the hold her father's memory had on them, allowing them both to move forward freely. At the same time, Jaycee was trying to cope with Hyoju by his side, trying to offer support. Their moment was interrupted when a police officer arrived to hand over his dad's belongings. Then, Hyoju attempted to look inside the bag, but Jaycee snapped at her, leaving her stunned and at a loss for words due to his harsh reaction. Back at the office, since Jaycee and Songa were both absent, their colleague Song Yan took charge of leading the meeting. Naturally, Everyone was curious about when Songa would return to work. Once again, Shehan accidentally revealed more than he intended about Songa's situation, attracting curious stares from everyone. Realizing his mistake, he scrambled to come up with an excuse for his knowledge of Songa's personal matters. Days went by, and it was time for Songa's mom to leave the hospital. But instead of heading to Songa's place, she instructed the taxi driver to take her to her own home. Songa instantly realized that her mom was still upset about their previous conversation, feeling the distance her mother was putting between them as a sign of her anger and disappointment. At her place, Songa's mom couldn't hold back her anger any longer. She started ripping up all the pictures of her late husband, blaming him for the rift between her and Songa. On the flip side, Songa, heart-heavy with sadness about the growing gap between her and her mom, was whisked away by Che Hyun for a little beach getaway. At that time, Songa wasn't herself, though, constantly lost in thoughts about her mom. Seeing this, Che Hyun, being the caring guy he is, went out of his way to lift her spirits. It wasn't easy at first, but with a heartfelt approach and his knack for understanding women, Che Hyun managed to bring back Songa's smile. Caught up in the romantic vibes, they shared a kiss, a sweet moment amidst the turmoil. Later, as they prepared to call it a night, Che Hyun decided to sleep in the car, leaving the tent to Songa. But Songa, who had grown closer to him, invited him to share the tent instead. Happy to oblige, Chihan joined her. In a break from their usual formalities, they tried calling each other by their first names, which led to a bout of laughter, since it felt so unfamiliar. As they settled down, Chihan couldn't help but marvel at how his dream was turning into reality, with Songa beside him. Staring at her, he realized that this was the happiest he'd ever been, his earlier dreams now a beautiful reality. On the other hand, Hyoju is visibly upset. She's been feeling a cold shoulder from Jason lately. He hasn't returned any of her calls, seemingly stuck in his grief over losing his dad. Right now, he's even on a quest to find his biological mom, following clues from his dad's last words. At one point, he thought he saw someone who matched a photo in his dad's wallet. But he couldn't muster the courage to approach the person and walked away instead. Switching back to Che Hyun who had a lovely time with Song of the day before. He's now hanging out with her two elder siblings. Ji Song, the eldest, has some exciting news to share that she's seriously dating someone. At first, Che Hyun and the other sister thought she was just pulling their leg, especially since Ji Song had been single for so long and seemed uninterested in marriage. But Ji Song's serious face convinced them it was real. They were both thrilled and eager to learn more about the guy who managed to capture Ji Song's heart. Little did they know, the mystery man was none other than Jae Noon. After hearing the joyful news, Shin Han couldn't stop smiling whenever he was with Songa. It seemed like he was radiating happiness, and Songa could definitely feel it. Even so, she insisted that they keep their romance under wraps at work. 
However, things took a downturn when Shi Han found out that a product idea he had developed, and it was the very one that won him a competition at work. Sadly, that product was being taken over by another division. They were planning to launch it before his division could. This didn't sit well with Che Hyun, who saw it as not only a blow to his division, but also unfair since he put in so much effort to create it. Then, Che Hyun tried to talk to Jae Yoon, who oversaw all divisions, hoping to find a solution. But it was too late cause the other division was already moving forward with marketing the product. Feeling like his hard work was being taken advantage of left Che Hyun pretty upset. Luckily, Songa was there to lift his spirits. Being the supportive partner that she was, she knew just how to bring a smile back to his face. In the morning, Shig Han came up with a plan to salvage his product idea. Even though another division had taken it to market first, he thought of making the product exclusive, available only as a complimentary gift to cosmetics buyers. Song Yan liked the plan and gave it his nod of approval right away. On another note, Jay Seen finally found the courage to visit his biological mother. It appeared that she had always known Jay Seen was her son. However, the reunion was far from happy, as she asked him not to visit again, essentially telling him to live as though he had no mother. It was a harsh reality that Jay Seen had to face. Back with Che Hyun, he was at the office with Songa, brainstorming over their project. As they were working closely, they got carried away and started acting like a couple in love. Unfortunately, they were caught in the act by Song Yan, which left both Songa and Che Hyun feeling quite red-faced and embarrassed. Meanwhile, Jay Seen was having a really rough time after hearing some nasty words from his mom. Now he was with Hyoju, checking out the new place they were planning to move into once they tied the knot. But Hyoju, being the eager beaver she is, had already organized for Jay Seen's stuff to be shifted to the new place, hoping it would lift his spirits. But this move, instead of cheering him up, irked Jay Seen even more, who was already having a hard day. He couldn't hold back and told her off for not discussing things with him before making decisions. This hurt Hyoju, feeling that her efforts and care were being brushed off by Jay Seen. She felt like no matter what she did, it seemed wrong in his eyes and that he was just ignoring her. She couldn't hold back anymore and let all her feelings out. Then Jay Seen responded quite harshly, saying that their relationship had been rocky from the get-go, admitting that he felt pressured to be with Hyoju to prevent her from possibly harming herself, like she had threatened to in the past. Hyoju was really hurt by this and in the heat of the moment, told him that if he didn't want to marry her, they might as well break up. Jason, without missing a beat, agreed to end things right there and then, leaving a stunned Hyoju behind, who hadn't expected him to actually take such a drastic step. Meanwhile, Jason was really torn up after his fight with Hyoju, lost in deep thought. You see, breaking up with her wasn't just a simple matter. It also meant he'd have to quit his job at the company right away. From the beginning, Hyoju's granddad never liked him, and the only reason Jason was holding onto the job was thanks to her and Jae Noon. So, when morning came, Jae Yoon got quite a shock finding a resignation letter from his best bud, Jae Seen, in his room. He tried calling him, but his number was already out of service. Panicking a bit, Jae Yoon immediately reached out to Hyoju to get the lowdown on what went down between them. Hyoju, learning for the first time about Jae Seen quitting, sprinted to his place, only to realize that Jae Seen was truly done living under the influence of her family. She couldn't believe what was happening. Fuming with anger, Hyoju stormed into the office to interrogate Songa about Jae Seen's whereabouts. She was practically yelling, demanding Songa spill the beans on where he might be. But Songa wanted no part in this drama between Jae Seen and Hyoju, trying to steer clear of the whole situation by stating she had no idea where Jae Seen was and that she wasn't involved at all. But that didn't stop Hyoju from getting all aggressive with Songa, refusing to back down. Soon after, Shi Han jumped in right away to defend his girlfriend, trying to keep Hyoju from causing more trouble. This just got Hyoju even more worked up. Good thing Jae Yoon showed up in time to calm things down and told her to knock it off. Sama, who was really shaken up from the confrontation with Hyoju, started feeling a bit better when Shi Han took her hand. On the side, Jae Yoon was pretty clueless about why Hyoju lashed out at Sama, so he decided to ask Sama about it the next day. That's when Songa opened up to Jae Doon, spilling the beans about her past romance with Jae Seen. She made it clear that their relationship was ancient history now. Jae Yoon, getting wind of this for the first time, could only say sorry to her. This whole fiasco had put Songa at the center of office gossip, with folks branding her as the troublemaker in the whole Jae Seen and Hyoju saga. 
Seeing how all this was messing with Songa, Che Hyun pulled out all the stops to keep her spirits up, determined to keep a smile on her face amidst the office chatter. Songa could clearly see his efforts, and she couldn't help but feel really thankful to have him in her corner during this tough time. In the meantime, Hyoju was really desperate to find Jae Seen. She turned to Jae Yoon, practically begging him to help find Jae Seen right away. Initially, Jae Yoon was hesitant to get involved. But seeing his sister so distressed and proclaiming her deep love for Jae Seen, he couldn't say no. He gave her his word that he'd try to find Jae Seen as fast as he could. Fast forward to the next day, and it seemed like the love story between Jae Hyun and Song Oh was about to hit another bump. At that time, Song Oh got another job offer from an old co-worker, urging her to reconsider moving to Paris for a fantastic job opportunity, which something that had always been a dream of hers. Despite this, she wasn't too keen on the offer. She felt really content with her life with Che Hyun and didn't want anything to change. Around the same time, Che Hyun came to realize that his fellow employees were playing dumb about his relationship with Song Ah. This made him feel really lucky to have such considered co-workers. He couldn't wait to share this news with Song Ah. But when he did, the conversation quickly shifted to Song Ah's job offer in Paris. She wanted to know what Che Hyun truly thought about it. Wanting only the best for her and not wanting to be a hindrance in any way, he told her he'd stand by her no matter what decision she made. At the same time, Jae Yoon was doing his best to persuade Jae Seen to come back, even holding on to his resignation letter. However, his grandfather sternly warned him to cut ties with Jae Seen, emphasizing the company had to keep progressing with numerous projects lined up. With no other options left, Jae Yoon chose to promote Song Yan to take over Jae Seen's position, declaring that Jae Seen was no longer a part of the company. Upon hearing this song, uh, who had once been close with Jae Seen, couldn't help but feel anxious about how he was doing now. She couldn't resist asking about his whereabouts. Jae Eun, however, had no updates to give, as he hadn't been able to locate Jae Seen. He asked song uh, to inform him as she heard from Jae Seen. In that moment, Jae Eun also expressed his regrets for being unaware of the past relationship between song uh, and Jae Seen. Furthermore, Jae Yoon clarified that the proposal to transfer Song to Paris wasn't due to any pressure from Jae Seen. It was simply a recognition of her remarkable talent, and it would be regrettable if her skills were not utilized to the fullest. The next day, there was a new guy in Che Hyun's team, taking his place, since Che Han got bumped up to fill Song Ah's position, and Song Ah had moved up to take over from Song Yan. At first, Che Hyun was quite pumped to guide the newbie, planning to be as kind as Song Ah had been to him. But he soon realized that the new guy already knew a ton about cosmetics, which kind of made him feel like he wasn't bringing much to the table as a senior. Regardless, he kept his positive vibe, and the new guy seemed to really value the guidance Che Han offered. Later, Che Han decided it was time to introduce Song Ah to his little niece, a key step if things were to get more serious between them. The funny thing was, unlike Jae Yoon who had to work hard to win over the little one, Song Ah hit it off with her straight away. They got so close, it was like they were a couple who already had kids. Soon after, Che Hyun brought Song to meet Ji Song, someone who was aware of her past with Jae Seen. Ji Song, however, was super cool about it, greeting Song warmly since she could see how happy Che Hyun was with her in his life. Not much later, as they were bringing Song home, surprise, surprise, Jae Seen was there waiting to have a chat with Song Ah. Che Hyun wasn't too keen on letting Jae Seen have a one on one with Song at first. But after seeing her signal that it was okay, he reluctantly agreed. At that time, Jae Seen really needed to clear the air with Song Ah, feeling like he hadn't properly said sorry for letting her down before. He also wanted to say his farewells since he was gearing up to kickstart a fresh life somewhere else and get a small cosmetics venture off the ground. After laying it all out there, he took off. Back at home, Chit Han couldn't shake the worry that something had gone wrong with Song Ah. The moment she opened the door, he pulled her into a tight hug. Things seemed to be getting a bit shaky between them, with Sama's work schedule turning crazy both inside and outside the office. Yet her mom, who dropped by the office, missed seeing her since she was on handling business matters. This kept up till evening, leaving her mom feeling a bit down for not being able to connect with her. But then, Shit Han showed up, noticed Sama's mom in the office lobby, and warmly invited her to come back home with him. Meanwhile, in the car, Sama's mom, who was a bit out of the loop about Sama's hectic daily routine, started quizzing Che Hyun about it. He happily filled her in on how dedicated and sought after Song Ah was in her field. As they were deep in conversation, Che Hyun noticed the telltale sound of a stomach growling, 
coming from Sama's mom. Eager to bond more with her, he invited her to grab a bite to eat and chat more about Sama, stuff she wasn't too familiar with. At the same time, Sama found herself catching up with an old colleague who had recently gotten back from Europe. This colleague was all pumped up about getting Sama to join her on a work adventure to Paris, representing their company. There she went on and on about the exciting challenges and experiences waiting for Sama in Paris, stuff she wouldn't encounter if she stayed put at her current job. Listening to her friend's stories, Songa couldn't help but feel a seed of doubt sprouting about her choice to decline the Paris offer. Meanwhile, Shehan was doing his best to win over Songa's mom, who seemed to be warming up to him rather quickly. She couldn't help but notice what a genuinely nice guy he was, and felt he was just the right kind of person to be with her daughter. When they reached home, she couldn't hide her gratitude towards Shehan, appreciating his kindness and thinking of him as quite a catch for being so good-hearted. Not much later, Songa got back and took a moment to thank Che Hyun for driving her mom home. Later that evening, Che Hyun, who has this lovely habit of calling Songa, before they both call it a night, picked up the phone to do just that. This time, though, Songa wasn't really feeling the conversation. She cut it short, saying she was too tired to talk. Despite the change in her mood, Che Hyun didn't stop being his affectionate self towards Songa. But she had been having second thoughts about turning down the job opportunity in Paris, a thought that was beginning to consume her mind more and more. When they caught up in person, Che Hyun was oblivious to the storm of thoughts in Songa's mind. He was caught up in sharing his dreams of their future, talking about how he looked forward to witnessing every changing season with her. Songa, lost in her thoughts, remained silent, not really responding to his heartfelt words. After a while, when Che Hyun continued to share his beautiful aspirations for their future, all Songa could muster was his simple confession of her affection for him. Caught up at the moment, he gently kissed her on the cheek, reciprocating her affection in his sweet, loving manner. The next day, Che Hyun had a chat with Ji Sung. Turns out, Ji Sung wanted to spill the beans about her new boyfriend, who happened to be Jae Yoon, the big boss at Che Hyun's workplace. Che Hyun was taken aback by this revelation, but he quickly asked her to keep his identity a secret, not wanting any special treatment at work. Meanwhile, Jae Seen was catching up with Jae Yoon, a meeting that had been a long time coming. The reunion quickly turned sour when Jae Doon lashed out at Jae Seen, feeling betrayed by his lack of friendship and consideration. However, Jae Seen didn't deny it, instead stating that he wanted to finally cut ties and be free from the bond that linked him to Jae Doon. Hearing that, Jae Doon was furious, feeling deeply hurt by Jae Seen's actions and words. He vowed to do whatever he could to make Jae Seen's life difficult in the future, promising that Jae Seen wouldn't get what he wanted easily. After this heated conversation, Jae Yoon went to see his sister, Hyo Ju, who was in the hospital and struggling to move on after her breakup with Jae Seen. Seeing her still trapped in the past, he urged her to let go of her feelings for Jae Seen and start a new chapter in her life. On the other hand, Che Han was working on a project with Songa when he stumbled upon some papers. These papers mentioned that Songa might be moving to Paris. This caught him off guard and made her a bit uneasy. They were both swamped with work at that moment. So, Che Han suggested they talk about it later when they're free. Once they finished their work, things seemed a bit off between them. The atmosphere was awkward and tense. Che Han couldn't hold back and asked Songa about what he saw in those documents. Then she admitted that she was in the middle of making a tough decision, which is why she hadn't brought it up with him earlier. When Che Han asked her how long she would have to stay in Paris, if she accepted the offer, she told him it would be for five long years. Che Han didn't know what to say. Inside, he was wishing and hoping she would turn down the offer. As he was dropping her off later, he told her, with a hint of fear in his voice, that no matter what she decides, he doesn't want to end their relationship. But despite his words, it felt like there was now a distance between them, a gap that wasn't there before, making them less close and comfy with each other than they used to be. At the same time, Jason got word that Hyoju was in the hospital because of the turmoil he'd caused. He decided to visit her and face her directly to tell her that they couldn't be together anymore. He wished for her to find the strength to move on from him. This let Hyoju speechless, tears being her only response. On another note, Chit Han couldn't stop mulling over his relationship with Songa. Gathering his courage, he decided to lay his feelings bare, hoping it could bring him happiness. He rushed to Songa and pleaded with her to stay, to continue being a part of his life. But it seemed she had different plans. She had made up her mind to make a fresh start in Paris. This news hit Chit Han hard but his love and sincerity for Songa guided him to accept her decision. He didn't want to hold her back, 
so he proposed a long-distance relationship instead, promising that he would visit her in Paris during every holiday, making sure they would still have time together, cherishing each other from afar. Despite feeling really upset about Songwa's choice to move to Paris, Shaykhan hid his sorrow, especially when he was around her at work. He didn't want to make her feel guilty or pressured because of his feelings. Instead, he wanted to cherish the few beautiful moments they had left before she left for Paris. However, finding the time for these moments was getting tough since song -ho was swamped with her moving preparations. Nevertheless, Chik Hyun remained patient and constantly waited for song -ho, even if it meant dozing off in his car while waiting for her to finish up her work. Seeing this, song -ho felt bad for occupying so much of his time and thanked him for his patience, urging him to take out time for himself before her departure. But Chik Hyun was more focused on making the most of the time they had left, indulging in joyful activities and showering her with affection and kisses whenever he got the chance. So fast forward three years and song -a decides to come back from Paris, cutting her five-year plan short by two years. As fate would have it, she spots Che Hyun at an intersection. But instead of greeting her, he just walks away. As this happens, song -a is taken back to the moments that drove a wedge between them. You see, when she was working in Paris, Che Hyun had given his all to keep their love alive. He regularly flew to Paris, trying his best to spend time with her. But song -a was caught up in her work, constantly breaking the promises they had made to meet up. Despite all his efforts and the long journeys he made, she couldn't spare time for their dates, often leaving him hanging. Yet, she had tried to be understanding of her hectic life in Paris. But everything changed one day when song -a found him asleep at her place, tired of waiting for her yet again. Seeing the toll it was taking on him, song -a decided to end things, even though Che Hyun was willing to stick it out. So, when we see Che Hyun ignoring song -a now, we had a glimpse of the heartbreak and disappointment that led to this moment. So back at the office, song -a is back at her old job after spending three years in Paris. Che Hyun is there too, but he's keeping things strictly professional, not showing any signs of their past connection. This new distance between them is clearly making song -a uneasy. She realizes that this is the consequence of her past actions where she chose her career over their relationship. On another note, Jae Yoon and Ji Sung are all caught up in wedding preparations after being together for three years. In a surprising turn, Jae Seen has now become good pals with Hyo Ju. They share casual chats, and Hyo Ju doesn't hesitate to share her blind date stories with him, even though they bumped into each other on one of those dates. Turns out Jae Seen has moved on and started a small business in the cosmetics industry, despite facing many hurdles as Jae Yoon had blocked potential investors from supporting him earlier on. Meanwhile, back to song -a's workplace, she finds herself in her old division, now headed by song Yan. This setup means she constantly finds herself face-to-face -face with Che Hyun, as their desks are opposite each other. But things are different now cause Che Hyun seems indifferent to her return. However, their colleagues haven't given up hope on them, often creating opportunities for them to be alone together. But it seems a tough nut to crack, since Che Han sticks to her topics and doesn't linger once the conversation is over. On the other hand, in the midst of sorting out his new business, Jay Seen got a bit of a shock cause the regular photo studio he used was having some issues and couldn't take pictures of Jay Seen's products. Luckily, his team found a new place for the shoot, which, surprise, surprise, belongs to Hyo Ju. This means he will bump into her again, even though it seems like she's moved on from him. Meanwhile, at the office, Chat Han and song -a had to head to the mall to check out some new products for work. After they finished up, song -a tried to get him to grab a meal with her, but he turned her down flat, leaving right away. song -a was left feeling pretty puzzled, since Chat Han has been quite distant since she got back to the office. Feeling down, song -a decided to join her co-workers, who were having a bit of a party to unwind. She ended up drinking a bit too much, getting quite drunk. Later, while she was waiting for the bus, Chat Han spotted her in her drunken state. Concerned for her safety, he didn't think twice and got out of his car to help her get home. But the alcohol loosened song -a's tongue and she spilled her feelings to Che Hyun. When she woke up the next morning, the memory of her drunken confession hit her like a ton of bricks. She couldn't help but feel totally embarrassed, avoiding any eye contact with Che Hyun at the office. Meanwhile, Jay Seen was in his office when he got some great news from his team that the photos taken at Hyo Ju's studio were a hit boosting the popularity of their products thanks to the top-notch quality of the photos. Realizing this was all Hyoju's handiwork, Jay Seen didn't waste any time in giving her a call to say thanks, feeling really grateful for her help. 
It seemed like she still had a soft spot for him, because, despite acting all cool and indifferent, she suggested that a nice meal would be a good way to repay her. Jacene was more than happy to agree, hinting at a possible rekindling of their old flames. On the flip side, Songa was battling a whirlpool of embarrassment, but knew she had to face Che Hyun and apologize for the drunken scene the night before. She admitted she still had feelings for him, but promised to work on keeping them under control so things wouldn't be so awkward at work. However, Che Hyun didn't say much, just listened quietly. Meanwhile, Che Hyun got a visit from Che Noon, who had just found out that his significant other, Ji Sung, is actually Che Hyun's older sibling. Now, Jae Yoon and Che Hyun are getting along like peas in a pod, sharing a sibling-like bond. At that time, Jae Yoon could tell that Che Hyun was struggling emotionally ever since Soma came back, even though he's been putting on a brave face and acting like everything's fine. Long story short, Che Hyun bumped into Soma again while he was heading home and taking the elevator. Suddenly the fire alarm went off and Soma freaked out, instantly grabbing Che Hyun's hand and urging him to hurry to safety. But the moment she realized she was holding his hand, she turned all red and tried to scoot away as fast as she could. Despite this somewhat comical situation, it brought out a smile in Cha Hyun, and he felt a renewed desire to chat with Songa. The very next day, the sparks seemed to be flying between them again. The elevator was jam packed, and Songa found herself squished against Cha Hyun. Later, as they carpooled back to work, a sleepy Cha Hyun appeared to doze off in the car. Songa, unable to resist her lingering feelings, tenderly brushed her fingers through his hair. But surprise! Cha Hyun wasn't really asleep and playfully called her out for taking liberties while he was asleep. Seems like Cha Hyun couldn't shake off his feelings for Song Ha either. He teased her daring her to try and woo him back into falling for her, just like old times. On the other hand, Song Ha was at a loss for words, deeply wishing they could turn back the clock and find their way back to the good times they once shared. At home, Song Ha couldn't stop mulling over Cha Hyun's earlier proposition, keeping her up late into the night so she chatted with her friend to get some tips on winning a guy over. Although the advice seemed a bit out of character for Song Ha, she was willing to give it a shot, all because of her feelings for Cha Hyun. The next day at work, Song Ha went the extra mile to look pretty for Cha Hyun. She even gathered the courage to confess her love for him, throwing her usual shyness out of the window. Now she couldn't care less about others' opinions as she wholly focused on supporting Cha Hyun at the office. Even though it was all new and slightly awkward for her, she noticed a joyful flutter in her heart, and her spirits lifted considerably. This newfound happiness even mended bridges with her mom, bringing them closer than ever. On the flip side, Che Hyun was catching up with Ji Sung to chat about some wedding plans, seeing as Ji Sung was temporarily living there. Ji Sung, aware of the standstill between Che Hyun and Song Ha, checked in to see if he was doing all right. Then, Che Hyun shared his mixed bag of emotions that he was truly excited to have Song Ha back in his life, and appreciated her efforts to grab his attention. However, he was also scared to fully let his guard down, fearing another heartache like the one he experienced before. Listening to all this, Ji Sung advised him simply to follow where his heart leads. Soon after, the scene moves to Hyoju for a moment. At that time, she can't shake off her lingering feelings for Jae Seen. Even the little things like the umbrella he gave her during a downpour stick in her memory. Meanwhile, at Jae Doon and Ji Sung's wedding preparations, Cha Han and Song Ha were chosen to hand out wedding favors to the guests. The task made Song Ha quite jittery, mainly because of her earlier indifference towards Cha Hyun. This guilt weighed heavy on her. During a quiet chat with Ji Sung, she got a bit of an insight into how sensitive Cha Han actually was deep down. Taking Ji Sung's advice to heart, Song Ha decided it was time to open up about her true feelings to Cha Hyun and say sorry for being so self-centered before. She vowed to herself that she wouldn't repeat the same mistakes that hurt Che Hyun in the past. She hoped for a second chance, where she could prove her love for him without causing any more sorrow. Upon hearing those heartfelt words, Che Hyun didn't waste a moment. He pulled Song Ha in for a kiss, signaling that they were picking up right where they left off. Full of longing, he brought her home, no longer able to keep his feelings at bay. From that point on, happiness blossomed anew, filling their days with laughter and joy. No more secrets, no more hiding, their love was now on full display for all to see, including their co-workers. Now, all that was left was for Cha Hyun to seek the blessing of Sama's mother to take their relationship to the next level. And to no one's surprise, her mother, who had always been fond of Cha Hyun for his gentle nature, was over the moon to give her blessing for their relationship. 
In the meantime, Jacin and Hyoju are gradually becoming closer, even if it's just as friends for now. It's a nice change seeing him genuinely smiling when he's around her. Later on, he catches up with Jae Doon, and it seems their previously tense relationship is now leasing up. Jae Doon has come to recognize Jae Seen's efforts to better himself and believes he's earned his friendship. Meanwhile, Song Ah meets up with Ji Song again. Inspired by Ji Song's advice, she gathers the courage to fully embrace her feelings. It's a kind of joy she's never known before, loving and being loved by someone as wonderful and genuine. Soon after, a happy song of messages Che Hyun, spotting him across the street. She recalls the wishes him to experience the cherry blossoms in spring, admire the autumn leaves, and play in the snowy winters together. But, to her surprise, Che Han seems to ignore her and walks away. Just when Sama starts to feel down, it turns out he was just pulling her leg. Halfway across the street, he stretches out his arms wide, signaling that he's open to everything she mentioned, making Song a rush over to embrace him warmly. In the end, we see Soma trying on clothes at Ji Sung's place, hinting at a joyous event in the near future. At that time, Shit Han couldn't be happier, as they are on the path to becoming husband and wife. And so the film comes to a sweet and happy end. The film ends. The moral lesson from this film is love is like a game of tag. Sometimes you just have to chase someone across the street to realize they're the one. Mm -hmm.